Um, the simple answer, yes, it is harmful. Um, the washing process would uh, take off a layer of fat or grease on your skin and so it make you your skin drier than normal. So not just hand washing, hand sanitizer have the same effect as well. Um, to prevent that causing problem, then you, you can still wash and hand sanitize it. You, you need to try to re-moisturize the skin back whenever possible. In patients with pre-existing skin condition like eczema, they will face a bigger challenge. But sometimes just normal, ordinary but a person with no skin problem can also start to get irritant hand contact dermatitis from this, um, this habit. The pre-existing conditions that you talked about is usually uh, atopic eczema or a patient with an underlying um, problem with eczema. So to keep the skin not too excessively dry, re-moisturizing is important. So as frequently as you can, essentially as uh, after every each time you wash your hand, that will be quite nice. Um, you used appropriate moisturizers at appropriate time. So the most appropriate time to moisturize your hands is after hand washing. And also, uh, you can use an even more intensive moisturizer just before bedtime. But moisturizer itself comes in different formulations. The really oily one will give a more prolonged benefit, but they're very it make your hands sticky, so making you uh, uncomfortable. If you use a lotion, then they're just very water-based. It will produce not much uh, benefit uh, in terms of moisturizing the skin. So you you got to find a personal preference at the right time um, with the right quantity as well. So the pre-existing conditions uh, that normally would cause a lot of problem is eczema, especially atopic eczema. And eczema is a genetic condition that causing excessive dry skin and an abnormal immune response to that. So with frequent hand washing, the skin will become very dry. So they will have to use very intensive moisturizer to prevent it getting inflamed. Once inflammation happens, they will have to use topical steroid to reduce the inflammation. This is the process. In, in um, this COVID uh, period, where hand sanitizer and hand washing is excessive, normal people with no existing conditions sometimes can also get irritant contact dermatitis. Uh, the answer is yes. In general, if you're wearing a mask, that means it, the, the breathing is confined to that very limited space. The tighter your mask, the less circulation there is. And when this air that you breathe out is warm air, and warm air does encourage um, uh, other things to grow. So the common thing that I have seen in this uh, period is something called seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is inflammation of the skin causing some itchiness and flakiness, especially around this area. And it's due to excessive growth of a, a kind of common, what we call commensal yeast on the skin, and they producing allergic reactions. So that is sometimes uh, seen, separate dermatitis. Uh, or to, uh, otherwise, the other skin condition is sometimes acne formation, just like an outbreak. Um, you treat it when the skin becomes red, inflamed, flaky, and uncomfortable. The treatment is the combinations of antifungus and mild topical steroid. And you only do it when necessary. When it's all settled down, you stop the treatment.